What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Monday morning to you and welcome to this devotional series. We're still walking through the book of Mark, really just kind of walking with Jesus. Uh, there's to me no greater thing that you can put your time and attention to than the life and the teachings and the miracles and the person of Christ. There's no, there's nothing more important than that right there. And so I'm um, so glad that you're walking through the life of Jesus with me here. And we're in Mark chapter, um, chapter 12, verse 28. It says, One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer. And he asked this question, of all the commandments, which is the most important? Well, the most important one, he answered, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let me say that last part. There's no commandment greater than these. Well said, uh, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that this man had answered so wisely, he said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Of God, I love that line. You are not far. So, if you were with me last week when we were talking about this, this is Holy Week, and one of the things about Holy Week is that when Jesus is in the temple and hanging out with some of these other religious leaders, they are questioning him, and this is very much symbolic of how you would examine the Passover lamb because it had to be without spot or blemish. And so, this is the the, the unique symbolism is that they're questioning and examining Jesus to make sure there's no spot or blemish in him. And so they che- they keep trying to throw questions at him to see if they can get him to stumble or to trip up or to make a mistake. And of course. He's flawless. And and the question that he asks is so good. I mean, this, this question is really good. Now, I'm not sure that he was trying to catch Jesus. He was just listening to them debating and thought, man, I, I, I'm going to talk to the good rabbi and see what he has to say. Of all the commandments, again, the, the, the Old Testament had 613 different laws and commands. And he goes, out of all those, what is the most important? And Jesus, of course, takes two scriptures. If you don't know this, the idea of loving the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength is an Old Testament idea. Jesus didn't make this up. It sounds very New Testament, but it's actually tucked away. And then the second one, also to love your neighbor as yourself. Again, that sounds very New Testament. Well, Jesus lifted those from the book of Deuteronomy and also the book of Leviticus. And so these are not new ideas. These are more or less the ideas that all the other 613 laws hang on. Even the Ten Commandments really hang on these. If you look at the Ten Commandments, you can kind of easily break them into two categories. The first four deal with how you kind of love God, and the next six deal with how you would love your fellow man. And so Jesus is really using these two statements to summarize everything. And this is the most important thing. So so the first thing would be this, to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Uh, I, I think what you catch from this simply is this, is like, it's everything. You know, my heart, how I, how I feel, my emotions, my mind, and how I think, my soul, my innermost being, my strength, even my physicality. Like, God gets the whole thing. That in me, there should be no compartmentalization. It should not be that, God, you get my heart on Sundays, but I get it on Friday nights. Or, God, you can have my finances, but I'm going to do the job thing. Or, God, I'll give you, um, I'm going to give you my kids because they're crazy, but I, I'm going to handle the finances and do my own thing. And just know, love God with everything that you have, with no compartmentalization. Mentalization. And then the second one, you need to see how he does this. He was only asked what was the most important command, but he refuses to separate these two as if they're one and one A. And I actually think that it's love God is the number one command, and the second command is how you express that love for God. That literally, when you think about it, if I said, hey, do you love God? You could say, yeah. But then if I said, but how do I know you love God? Well, The thing is this, if you just point to a bunch of religious duties that you do for your personal self, I don't know that that's actually loving God. And the reason why is because even the young man, I don't know if he's young, but even the man that that said in response that, Jesus, you're, you're right on, I love your answer. And when he said this, he goes to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. Well, why did you go to make those sacrifices? For yourself? And so it's fascinating to think about how like a lot of the things that we would say and point to as to why 
I can prove to you that I really do love and honor God. We would think about the personal religious rituals that we engage in. And Jesus is like, no, the way, the greatest and the highest way that you express how you love God is in how you love other people. That love is the supreme ethic of life. That love is the highest virtue. That love is the golden rule. That is the supreme ethic. To treat another person as if they're made in the image and likeness of God. To treat another person with full dignity and honor and love and respect because they are a person for whom Christ died. Like that's a powerful thing. And when we can harness this, he goes, listen, you don't even know who I am. You don't know that I'm the Messiah. You don't know about the cross and the future resurrection. You don't know any of that. The idea that you just simply understand that I need to honor and love God. And the greatest way that I can do that is to love my neighbor as myself. He goes, man, you don't even know the Messiah yet. And you're right there on the brink. And so I just want you to know, this is the most important thing to your heavenly father. Again, it is not enough for us to go to church, to go through a bunch of religious practices, and then to dismiss how we treat other people. But how we treat other people is actually the greatest indicator of how we love God. Can I get an amen to that? Church, I love you so much. God bless you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.